Okay, hi everyone. So today let's discuss one interesting problem from H.C. Verma. Actually, a second part is, its first part we have already discussed. So let's see. Uh, suppose all the surfaces in the previous problem are rough. The direction of the friction on B due to A. So we have to direction the direction of friction ka on B due to A. So you can draw the free body diagram of B first. So देखो B का free body diagram बना है. So इस तरह से देखो. क्या क्या forces लगेंगे? एक तो ये जो external force है. आप F जो लगा रहे हो. So इस तरह से F लगेगा. Further there will be a you know normal reaction force between A and B. So let's call it N1. So N1 B पे इस direction में लगेगा और A पे equal and opposite. इस तरह से N1 लगेगा A पे. Right? और mg का जो weight है वो नीचे की तरफ लगेगा mb into g. Now you can see इसके अलावा एक friction force बचा हुआ है on b due to a. So friction force की अगर मैं बात करूँ तो वो ऊपर की तरफ लगेगा. Let's call it f r one. This is the friction force by block a on block b. ऐसा मैं क्यों कह रहा हूँ कि ऊपर की तरफ लगेगा? Because अगर ये block b equilibrium है, so you can see कि जो नीचे इसका weight लग रहा है, उसे balance करेगा friction force, right? So if you write the you know equation uh, like uh, if you balance the forces n1 should be equal to f and the uh, value of friction in the upward direction fr1 should be equal to the weight of the block b which is mb into g right this is the uh, friction force required itna friction force required hai, but kya itna available hai dekho jo friction hai uska limitation hota hai direction we have already find out magnitude we have already find out but there is a condition on the friction force friction force is always less than or equal to its limiting value or limiting value kitni hoti hai n into mu n kitna hai n1 n1 actually n1 is equal to f so instead of n1 we can write f so f into mu or further up dekho uh, jo friction hai wo kitna hai mb into g so this is the condition for the equilibrium of block b ye condition honi chahiye hai na agar system equilibrium hai Direction upper hoga magnitude we have already find out but this condition needs to be satisfied for the system to be in equilibrium. Agar hum same uh, cheese block A ke liye karein to block A ka jo abha free body diagram banao ge to iska jo weight hai niche ke taraf lage ga ma into g. Further there will be a, re a normal reaction between this wall and the block A. So usse hum n2 ke lete hai n2 lage ga isme. Aur ab dekho jo block A pe friction hai by block B wo niche ke taraf lage ga. Because block B पे ऊपर था, तो equal and opposite से हम कह सकते हैं कि जो block A है, उसमें नीचे की तरफ friction लगेगा, fr1. अब देखो आप कि n1 will be equal to n2, right? Horizontal direction में तो force balance हो जाएंगे. But what about vertical direction? Vertical direction में ma into g नीचे की तरफ लग रहा है और friction force भी नीचे की तरफ लग रहा है. So इसे balance कौन करेगा? There will be a friction force by this wall. ये जो wall है, इसके कारण एक friction force लगेगा block A पे ऊपर की direction में. Let's call it FR2. That will balance the downward forces. FR2 that should be equal to MA into G plus FR1. FR1 kitna hai? MB into G. So MB into G. Right? So this is the uh, force. Agar wall is smooth hoti hai, then block A kabhi equilib uh, equilibrium mein nahi rahe paega. Right? Jase iska jo first part tha, usme amne discuss kiya tha, ki if the wall is smooth, the system will never be in equilibrium. So this is the you know friction force required for block A to be in equilibrium further you can remove this condition direction kya hoga FR2 ka upward magnitude bhi nikal liya further condition kya equilibrium ki that FR2 should be less than or equal to its limiting value or limiting value kya hogi normal reaction into mu ab yaha pe jo coefficient of friction hai isko hum let's say mu dash kehte hai na mu dash kehte hai to FR2 FR2 kya hai FR2 is MA plus MB into G that should be less than or equal to F limiting that is what is the normal reaction between them N2 or N2 is equal to N1 and N1 and N2 equal hai or further N uh, aap dekho upar humne likha tha ki N1 is equal to F so N1 barabar hai FK so N1 is equal to N2 is equal to F so yaha pe again F likhenge aur yaha pe mu dash likhenge so this is the condition right so is tarah se wo you know aapko further question को थोड़ा ट्विस्ट करके इस तरह से पूछ सकता है कि कंडीशन निकालो या फिर म्यू वन म्यू टू का लिमिट है यू नो मिनिमम वैल्यू निकालो सो इस तरह के क्वेश्चन फ्रेम हो सकते हैं इसमें सो आई होप इट्स क्लियर इफ यू हैव एनी कंफ्यूजन और वांट टू डिस्कस एनीथिंग वी कैन डिस्कस इन द टेलीग्राम ओके गाइज कीप वर्किंग आर्ट बेस्ट ऑफ लक फॉर योर एग्जाम्स बाय